I think that um, corporations that are, are committed to um, helping cities to rebuild in the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, as well as committed to helping uh, to rebuild um, our credibility related to race, uh, first have to look at city leaders who are truly committed to doing the work. And not, um, corporations shouldn't be looking for an opportunity just to check the box. What I would first look for is trying to uh, identify um, a city that wants to do this work based upon data. Uh, a city that wants to, ha to develop an equity plan that shows where the gaps are in their community, whether it's housing, education, whether it's criminal justice policy. Uh, and I think that's going to be important. Uh, and um, I think uh, organizations need to uh, know that it's going to take more than just dumping a million dollars in a community and being able to market that we gave a million to ten million dollars. At the National League of Cities, what we are doing is um, uh, developing a long-term comprehensive uh, designed uh, program. And uh, it's going to be uh, developed uh, with a, a national commission um, that will have elected officials, CEOs of major corporations, philanthropic leaders, and community-based uh, activists. And if what the purpose of that is, is to guide and to give us input, but also focus on outcomes and measurements. Um, because after two years of work, or five years of work, um, we want to see where um, the unemployment rate in a community has been uh, lowered that is equal to the white community that exists. The number of black businesses uh, have increased. Uh, the increase in the number of people of color owning homes in that community uh, has uh, improved. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm committed uh, to working hard on it. Um, I'm proud of what we did have done with the five years of race, equity, and leadership, our real program. But I'm more passionate now uh, because I think we got to do more. Um, and in my lifetime and, and in my business uh, uh, time, I've never felt more committed uh, to partnering with the private sector. But this time, it has to be different. Uh, we all have to put some skin in the game, and um, resources is not just money sometimes. Maybe it's data. Uh, maybe it's uh, uh, consulting services. Um, but I do think this is our opportunity. The other opportunity that I see for public and private sector is around um, reopening and rebuilding. Um, I think that local leaders are going to need solutions that will help them to be able to reimagine their cities from a financial perspective related to their budget and the types of, of, of funding uh, opportunities that they're going to need to look at uh, from reimagining the design of their infrastructure of their offices, infrastructure of their water systems, their wastewater systems, how are we going to fund these um, services now uh, compared to before uh, COVID uh, pandemic? So I just think that private sector is going to be needed even more uh, for your expertise and efficiency uh, for elected officials to be able to consider you. So I think there is a lot of opportunities.